clear-cut vote on the morning kickoff, but Watford's million-pound rated goalkeeper David James quickly got a major thumbs down. He drops Gordon Armstrong's cross, and John Byrne has the control and composure to score his 100th Football League goal, and his first for Sunderland. He handed the Roker men the initiative on a plate, but Watford had some cause for sympathy three minutes later. Sunderland-born Gary Porter, the acrobat, but it's ruled out for offside. Correct, but cruel. But it was all going Burns' way. Another confident break. Peter Davenport shot coming up, and while Joe McLaughlin gets tangled up with himself, Armstrong forces the loose ball over the line. Sunderland two up, almost without trying. And Watford's luck wasn't about to turn. An off-the-wall trick at a free kick, but Trevor Putney found Tony Norman had the reach advantage. It must have dawned on Watford they might not score, even if they did go till 20 to 5. An amazing scramble, but Paul Bracewell had it covered. Next, another disallowed goal. Darren Baisley's cross, a fine header from substitute Stan Butler, but he'd step back from an offside position. But John Byrne hasn't finished his day's work. A slide rule through pass from Bracewell. And Byrne showing the sort of class that's made more than one manager slap down the cash. Two for Byrne, three for Sunderland. Watford did at last get a legitimate goal, and it was the local lad with the one you've got to come home for. Porter's finish just out of Norman's reach this time. But there was to be no real way back. Not with the Sunderland keeper in this form anyway. Butler missing out again. But it was Byrne's day all right and he sent the fans home with a final flourish. This sort of confidence in front of goal might help them forget Marco.